Hello YouTube, and thank you for taking the time to watch Tobat the Lizard's appeal video. It's very hard to talk in this mask live, so I'm going to reveal the man behind the mask, just to prove that this is me. But I wanted to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video and to listen to my appeal. I wanted to go through my overall channel, the editing process, the types of videos I do because I do everything. I don't do one particular thing. I do many. Um, and I just want to be able to improve my content and also become a part of the partners program. So it's always easier to think this stuff up in your head than it is for me to say live on the camera but i'm trying to be open and honest with you um i'm a dad i have four kids i'm in my 40s um, i have a full-time job so everything i do takes a lot of time and attention away from my family and i just wanted you to to be aware of that in the conversation with jeff on July the 7th at 8.01 a.m. Um, I have a copy of the conversation. I'm sure you have it as well. Um, I contacted him because I was frustrated about the lack of information and the denial of being monetized the first time. Um, I was really trying to get some guidance in order to bring my channel into compliance. Um, I was kind of frustrated that I couldn't get detailed answers from him but that's that's okay i got what i could out of the conversation i don't feel like my questions were answered but um, i understand if you have policies that prevent him from answering the way i like I looked at my channel i probably deleted anywhere from 30 to 50 videos um, which hit the watch time it, it hit the repeat watch time and quite honestly some of that was blatantly against that policy and i understood that so that's why i did not appeal the first time I, I looked at it and I said, hey, hey, that's YouTube's policy. This is just a blatant, but that's okay. I needed to change and do better. I quickly realized I was going to have to speed this video along to get my point across because I'm running out of time already. So here in this video, you will see my Atari Jaguar, my TurboGrafx-16, various mini consoles. And this doesn't even include our more modern consoles in the house. As you can tell, we're a little bit of video game dorks here. This collection represents thousands of dollars plus the connections to hook them up to modern TVs and record them in high definition, it's not an easy task. Basically what I'm saying is all of my video games are original content. Here's a display of my gaming setup. I hope this puts to bed any consideration that my gaming footage is reused content. Here's a quick video overview of my narrations. These are content narrations from videos that I watch and comment on as I watch them. This is my image bank. Fun fact, I had to get a one terabyte hard drive just for editing videos because I was running out of space on my computer. I currently have 500 gigabytes on that. In this brief clip, you'll see a screenshot of me editing videos and just how much is involved in editing videos, how many different clips there are, how many different audio clips, images, and also several different video clips per video. doesn't matter the size or the shorts. I constantly have to spend hours editing videos. Whether it be Tucker Carlson episodes where I comment on the video or parodies where I make fun of it, video clips where I take the meaning or parodies where I take the meaning of a video clip and change it like with the reparations video that you can see on my channel. While that may be offensive to some viewers, it takes a topic in California and compares it and contrasts hilariously with the Dave Chappelle episode about reparations years earlier. A lot that's been playing are videos of mine that are their videos that I clearly provide commentary on and or use in a unique way for comedy or I change the meaning of the original video with my video. In many videos I provide complete voiceovers for all the characters. So I'm almost out of time. I wanted to talk about the information that I was provided by YouTube about why I was not monetized. In July when my channel was denied monetization I made sure that I followed these guidelines to a T highlighted in yellow or where I believe all of my videos fall into the criteria. The only thing left on my channel that even remotely comes close to violating these do's and don'ts is the music from the video games and if that's what the problem is could you please let me know. Again I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for looking at this appeal. Please take a look at the channel and really give it a thorough review and let me know what you think. Thank you.